greatest fears become reality. Ah, they're flashing, me! Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. Ow. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. There's no way I'm jumping in there. There's no way. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Yes! Woo! Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan. Welcome to Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were designed and supervised by trained professionals. They're extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Normally I'm not a risk taker. This basically gives me a chance to do things that I normally wouldn't do. I'm willing to do what the next person may or may not do. Well, that gives me an advantage, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to win. I'm very nervous. I don't know what to expect, but I do know I'm going to try to do all the things they ask us to do. I'm definitely not a quitter. I've always been a tomboy. Actually, I just pretty much had a mean streak in me, I guess. A little bit of a bully. My dad is an officer in the United States Air Force. He taught me never to quit and take pride in everything that I do, and that's how I'm going to play this game. I definitely have an adventurous spirit. I've never been afraid to try things. I come from Oregon where I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. How you guys doing? Good. All right. These six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye and compete for $50,000. Now to win the money, you're gonna have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that'll not only test you physically, but mentally as well. Now if you're too afraid to try a stunt, you're out. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you move on to the next round and you're that much closer to $50,000. Now remember, this is a game, so some strategy will come into play. Feel free to mess with each other's minds, play off each other's fears. Gamesmanship is always appreciated here. Does anybody have any questions? No? You ready to find out what your first stunt is? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Today, you're in for an experience like no other. You're not gonna go horseback riding, but you're gonna go on a ride in back of the horse. We like to call this stunt the horse drag. And this is how it works. You're gonna lie down holding onto a rope that's harnessed to these two horses. They're gonna take off at about 35 miles an hour. They're gonna drag you through the mud and you must hang on until you cross that finish line way down there about 100 yards. Now if you do succeed, then you move on to the next round and you're that much closer to the cash. However, hang on as long as you can because the one man and one woman that let go the furthest from the finish line will be eliminated today. All right, now I know you all have ID tags with your names on them, so why don't you toss them in here and we'll figure out who goes first. Number one is Carlisle. All right, come on Carlisle, let's get you strapped in. This is gonna be fun, dude. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever done before besides this? Uh, nothing. I kind of stay free of, <laughs> you know. Stay free of if danger? If I don't have wings, I don't fly. <laughs> if I don't have fins, I don't swim. So I'm kind of that kind of person. Uh, I'm with you. You ever gone on horseback riding before? No. No? How do you feel about horses? I don't dislike them, but I'm, I'm not a fan. You know we're going to end up eating. Are you mm, It won't be the first time. It won't be the first time. <laughs> 
What do you do for a living? Chef, I've been an accountant, I've been a hairstylist, I've been a baker, I've been, I did a little bit of everything. Cause I don't wanna work a miserable job and die. Let's bang it out. Let's get him strapped in. Style. I live in New York. Oh, uh, right on, cool. In Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah, right in the city, in Manhattan. Oh, oh really? Cool. What do you do? I'm an adventure seeker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm a shoe shiner. Yeah, yeah hey, that's, you, you do what you do. I'm, yeah. I'm you know, I do I love my job. I've been doing it for almost 11 years. That's excellent. Oh, at where? At the airport. Well, I'm at Phoenix right now, but my dad was in the Air Force. Yeah. And so I did in Spain and here and there, and I did it in Jersey for a while. <laughs> See, they don't like each other. The horses don't? Yeah, and I, I don't want them to go two opposite ways and pull me apart. <laughs> Please help Veronica when she loses. Oh, it's going to be tough. No, it's going to be tough. Gonna I mean, she's going to be boohooing, you know. It's like, and what's your name again? Okay, honey. Oh, it's going to be tough. It's all about the dollars. You know, there's only one winner here. And it's me. <laughs> We're not allowed to talk about the other contestants. Why? He don't like them? No, I saw one. I don't see how he passed the psychic test. Why? Which one? Notice the twitch in the eye. Looks a little whacked out? Yeah. I was trying to figure out what they could possibly do to us to scare us. I'm like, we can't really seriously kill me or seriously maim me. What are you going to do to scare me? I would have never thought of this. You ready to do this? I'm ready. All right, good luck, my man. I'm going to meet you down there by the finish line. Okay. See where everybody's standing, way down there, 100 yards away? That's no. the finish line. We all set? That's all right, though. It's all right. It just burns so bad, though. Oh, God, it burns. It burns what burns? It's it burns. It's your stomach, your legs, everything's like, and then the rocks start hitting you in the face like really fast. Oh, God. This oh, feels like wow. somebody just like taking little razor blades and like slitting you. Ooh, you're bleeding. I know. We all gonna bleed. We all gonna bleed. Congratulations, man. You made it in the second round. No, who's next? All right, Nick. Come on, dude. Let's get you down there. I don't want to scratch up my face or my elbows. Well, you yeah. want to draw it out. Anytime you, so you want to. Well, you. <laughs> you can draw it out. I don't, I don't care. I'll it's OK. You. you want a shoe shine stand. Yeah. yeah. So you're a little bummed out about your shoes getting drugged through here? Yeah, but I got my stuff with me, so I'll clean them. So your shoes are horrible, too, buddy, but it's all right. Sorry, right, dude. It's all right, man. <laughs> We're ready to do this? Send them home with me, and I'll get them all cleaned up. OK. Yeah, let's do this. All right, let's get them strapped in. Come on, man. Is on. Nick! <laughs> Your shoes are filthy. Your shoes? That's what you're worried about? <laughs> How was it? It was good. It starts to hurt your stomach a little bit. You it hurts know. your stomach? Yeah. yeah. You made it into the second round, oh. guaranteed. You're that much closer to 50 grand, you can buy a lot of shoes. <laughs> All right? All right, buddy. All right, who is next? Me. So what's your motivation for doing the show? There's a friend of mine that uh, is going to Spain. Her and I were supposed to go together in August, and um, I didn't have enough money to go, so um, if I get the money, I'm going to go study in Spain for a whole year with her. Give some luck. Good luck. You're going to lie down holding onto a rope that's harnessed to these two horses. They're going to take off, and you must hang on until you cross that finish line way down there, about 100 yards. If you don't make it, the one man and the one woman furthest from the finish line will be eliminated. It's hard to do with the gloves. Mm. 
probably knocked the wind out of her. Probably. No, it didn't. She, she just wanted back. some sympathy. Gabby, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? I'm what so happened? pissed. Well, you know what? You're not necessarily out. The other two girls, if they uh, last uh, less distance than you, you can still make it. Right where she let go is, is where it, it yeah. gets you. This does it not hurt. look easy to me at all. All okay. right, well, Veronica's next. All right. How are you feeling? Scared. Well, now, Extremely the good news scared. is all you have to do is pass her flag. I know her type. Her attitude stinks. Her attitude stinks terribly. Got her. I think from now on, I'm going to give her the smile. Mm -hmm. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever done besides this? Um, being a police officer. <laughs> police, are you a cop? Uh, ex. Did You're it for ex seven cop? years working really? undercover. So. You went undercover? Yeah. Well, after going on drug raids and posing undercover, getting dragged through the mud, I mean, that's not. It's gonna be a walk in the park. Right? You see the finish line? Exactly. It's right there. Veronica, remember, all you have to do is pass this flag. Go! Veronica, you all right? I'm wonderful. <laughs> what happened? It's a lot tougher than I thought. You're not necessarily out, because Deirdre's next. Oh, my God. If she screws up, you're still OK. Who was talking the most trash out of the two girls? Was it Veronica or Deirdre? It was Veronica. Really? I know this is mean, and I'm not a mean person, but I am so happy right Well, you're in. You're I'm in. Congratulations. Yes. You're in. At least in. for you. I'm not in yet. I'm in. Right. She's going Winston, home. I'm not in yet. Dude. I'm not in Come yet. Come on down, man. You know, if you don't make it, you're going to be eliminated. Oh, I'm aware of that. There's no doubt. <laughs> you guys have already gone through. Yep. So you have to make it across the finish line. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to try and come out here and play the tough guy role or anything like that. Oh, I'm going to make it to the end. I'm, I'm worried I'm not going to make it. Remember, dude, you got to go all the way. All the way to the end. Hey! <laughs> All right, dude, how was it? No matter how it hurts or what you do, yeah, I take a peek of my finger off. That's a good one. You all right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Going up against Norman Bates. <laughs> they you think go. you're crazy, you know. They do. <laughs> Especially Carlisle. Oh, yeah. You're crazy. You think oh, yeah. he's nuts. <laughs> Carlisle's allowed to say, though. <laughs> hey, you got to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh -oh. Yep. I didn't feel it though. I, tell you, I didn't even feel it when I, when I when it was going. The rocks started going. They felt like you, like it's someone's hitting you in the chest. You feel like you're getting punched in the chest. Oh, let's get him a medic. And then I don't want to see like oh, oh, I know. Oh, yes, oh my god. Just gotta make it past that spot. Yidra. down to you. Oh. How does that make you feel? Looking at that blood. I don't want those guys to feel like they're tougher than me tougher they're than not. I am, because they're not. Now, what is your motivation for doing the show? I love a challenge, and I love an adventure. I really want to try to win this. I want to make my family proud. Deidre! What? Remember, you just have to pass this purple flag right here. Okay. I cannot believe I didn't go any further than that. All right, Deidre, here it goes. $50,000, hang on. Oh, my God. Really sucks. There you go. I, See? I did it. Soda? I did. I'm out of here, guys. That was for you. Come on now. Oh, my God. Take care. Oh, man. That's awesome. I'm so happy you did it. It definitely takes a lot of strength to do the horse drag. You cannot go in there and be weak. It was embarrassing, disappointing, and everything else. So. All right, guys, well, congratulations. Y'all made it through on a cold, wet, nasty day. Gabby, <laughs> you didn't think that your distance was going to hold up, but it held I up. I know, you it right. did. Winston, I wonder why everybody thinks you're crazy. You, you marked your own face. <laughs> you know, I can't understand it. <laughs> all right, well, congratulations, you guys. You all did excellent. Very proud of you. We move into tomorrow, the next stunt. So uh, let's get out of here. Back when I was in college, they used to call me con man because I played cards a lot. And I think that the whole con man thing has come into play here. 
My dad raised my twin sister and I as boys practically, and so I did all those things that the boys did. I'm a very competitive person. I know what my limits are, and there's certain boundaries that I just won't cross. I'm thinking it's going to narrow down to just the guys, me, Nick, and Winston. With my dad being in the military and the whole don't cry issue, you know, the manly man kind of thing, I've always been raised not to quit. Did you guys get a good night's sleep last night? Yeah. That's good because tonight's experience may very well haunt your dreams for the rest of your lives. We're here in an abandoned warehouse, not exactly the kind of place you want to wind up alone after dark. However, it's not really abandoned. It's actually got about 400 residents here, and you guys are going to get to spend some quality time with each and every one of them. We like to call this stunt the Rat Pit. <laughs> Down there are 400 rats. You guys got tetanus shots yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Now you know why. <laughs> For your next stunt, you're going to be strapped into place and then covered with these 400 rats, and you must lie there for four minutes. If at any time the scratching and the biting get too much for you and you can't handle it, we'll pull you out. But if you do bail, you realize you've lost your shot at $50,000. Again, you don't have to do this. You could back out right now. But if you do, you lose your shot at the cash. Now, we've already randomly selected who's going to go first. And Winston, Wonderful. you are our lucky contestant number one. All right. Let's do it. I'm ripe for the pickings for these babies. Oh, my God. I'm just ripped. I'm crawling on your genital areas. <laughs> oh, God. One might hit a spot and just want to nibble right there for a while. I don't want them to, like, rub against my face. It's just so nasty. Oh. You got your game face on? It's time. You ready for this? Got me done. It's got to be done. It's all right. Strip down. I've got, like, hair product in my hair and... You see, they attract you to all that kind yeah. of stuff. Hair spray, Makeup. cologne. I have body spray. I have lotion on. So all that kind of stuff attracts them. Grease. Yeah, grease. Mm -hmm. But I got a whole lot of stuff. I got stuff in my hair, too. And I would oh, put on yes. Jamaican fruit cologne this morning. They can lick me too. Dude, you a big like banana. <laughs> you get goggles too. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. All right, strap in, players. And at any time you panic and you want to get out, we'll get you out of there. I'll be the first one to let you know. No doubt about that. Okay, let's bring in the rats. And you have four minutes from the time the very first rat touches you. All right. Time is now. Start the time. You have four minutes from the time the very first rat touches you. Oh, there's more. Oh, they're pooping already. Remember which one that was. I want them afterwards. How you feeling, man? Oh, I can hear them in my ears. I can hear them. Oh, they stink. God, they stink. On a scale of one to ten, how bad does this suck? This really sucks. Oh, oh it's on my foot. Oh, I can hear them breathing in my ears. That was great. Dude, one of them is camped out in your crotch. Mm, thanks, dude. I didn't look, even know that I was going to look. He's just hanging. He's found a nice, comfortable spot. Bastards. Oh, they're all under my legs. Oh, that was gross. I don't even know you that well, Mr. Brad. Oh, that's not cool at all. Dude, that one's huge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I get bit of my leg. <laughs> that sucks. That's definitely going to be more. You got one minute to go. Y'all don't know the stink, man. Oh, you can hear them breathe. <laughs> love. They're chirping or something. Oh, my God. He done hibernated. Oh, the feet's the worst part. Oh, I can fit on the finger. Oh, I can fit on the toe. Oh, you look bastard. Time. Okay, get him out of there. Unstrap him. There you go. 
No, he little short sure. bastard. No, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. No. Well, you did it. You got through. You're past day two. You're yeah, in. Done with the and rats. You're in the finals. Nothing's gonna be worse. Nothing's, you don't think so? There's nothing you can do to me tomorrow. Nothing. Oh, dude, you made yourself bleed. Oh, Talk about being determined to win. What's going on, man? My man's eating himself. And you know, when they're falling on you, they're like falling really heavy Here and just comes, like. Guys. What's up, buddy? Did they bite you anywhere? Where you. Oh, oh my God. That's a bite? Man, I took a big chunk out of your shoulder. Yeah, can you believe that? I didn't even see that one. I didn't feel that one until afterwards. Whoa. And see, I know me, I, I'm liable to get in there and freak out and start squishing them, just. <laughs> start trying. Yeah, just like, <laughs> All right, Deidre, so, you ready? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. It's gonna be excellent. If they don't mm -hmm. bite my face, I'll be okay. So you're determined to win this? I still wanna win. I'm still here to win. win. I didn't fly 3,000 miles to lose. If I can just keep my calm, I'll be okay. Do you think you can keep your calm? I'm hoping. Okay, bring in the rats. You're 20 seconds in. She just got her eyes closed. I don't like people touching me, much less rats. It's just a violation of your space, you know? It's on my face. Help. God, there's a rat underneath my legs. Oh, get out of there. Oh, you look like they're going. Oh, God. Look where they're going. They're going for my crotch. Just stay still, Deidre. How you doing? You all right? Come on, Deidre. I just want that one away from my tush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't go on my face. You guys are going to get it. Oh, God. It's bugging my foot. Like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, God. Oh, it sucks so much worse when you can see it. My feet. Ow! Oh, it definitely sucks so much worse when you can see it. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, oh! You like the nail polish. Oh, God! Oh. Gabby, how you doing? Oh, You're next. I don't know. Oh, this is hard. You can do it, Deidre. Hang in there. Get out! Oh, my feet! Get her out! Was it as bad as you thought it was going to be? It was worse. It was they worse. They were really chewing on me. I, I put lotion all over my body this morning. Was it like honey cocoa butter lotion? Oh yeah, it was good stuff. Something tasty. Yeah. I'm just glad it's over with. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm just so I'm I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad. Do you think anybody's going to quit? I'm going to try to make them. I'm going to really? let them know they shouldn't do it. I just don't want them on me, at all. I'm not worried about it being about bitten. They're going to be snuggling up your warm body. <laughs> they find all the warm spots. They do, every crevice. Please talk to me when I'm doing this, please. Just concentrate. Don't even, just pretend they're not even there. Pretend you're like getting a massage or, you know what I mean? How can you say that? You talk about but massage when you get in there. That's what I'm saying. But you know what I mean, right? You know, you don't you know what you mean me, until you're I'll in it. Okay. You don't know what you mean until you're in it. Yeah. Unless you had 400 rats on you, and you don't yeah. realize the weight of them until they actually get on you. I mean, the weight of them comes down. Like, you can give her all the pep talks you want until yeah. you're in it, man. I'm I mean. telling you, get in there, and then you'll know. You get in there, and then you'll know. So with that, no. I hear you. Gabby! Here, my little friend. <laughs> hey! Are you ready? <laughs> no. Well? You gonna do it? Yes, right. I'm gonna at least try. All right, Gabby, <laughs> if you panic, you let me know. If you can't handle it, we gotta get you out quick. Okay. I don't know if I can. They're not even in here and I can Gabby, feel it. Don't panic, just breathe. Oh, Okay, geez. bring in the rats. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Guys, please talk to me. Oh, my God. It's all right, Gabby. Do it. Relax, Gabby. Just take $50,000, Get away Gabby. from my face. 
They can't speak English. <laughs> Fifty thousand dollars. Don't worry about it. Put your head down, honey. You're okay. Relax, guys. Oh God. But you know what? Guess you guys what? talk to me. They're I'm waiting for you. Me. Yes, you guys, please. Talk It's not. Just relax, Gabby. Yeah, we move the way you're my face. Get away from her face. You're gonna make it, Gabby? Yes. Say you're gonna make I'm it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna call her out. Five, four, oh three, two, one. Oh, Get her out of there. Congratulations, oh Gabby. Oh Gabby, you did it. Was that the grossest thing that you've ever done in your life? That was the grossest thing I've ever even imagined doing. Did you ever think about quitting? Uh, yeah, I did. You thought about quitting in the, the beginning, second, didn't you? The second they put, I felt one on me, I wanted to quit. So they start knowing at the okay. two minutes. About after two, about the, the first half, they're just getting cozy. Then they start getting too cozy. I can readily all of y'all. They don't have to even undress me. Mentally, I, I can't. I can do a lot of stuff, but mentally, because if I want to lay down with rats, I can stay at home and, go <laughs> and lay down with rats. You know, if I want to just face that challenge. All right, well, again, congratulations. You Thank made it through. You. Now you get to watch Carlisle and Nick. I, I, mentally, I cannot do that. I, I just can't. You going to quit? Yeah, I'm out. Really? Yeah. Come on, come on, man. Come on, here. Go talk to Joe. If you're not going to win it, who's going to win it? You going to let those guys beat you? I don't, I don't set purpose in it. It's just like, I, I do things that's within, uh, uh, like the horse thing, I mean, it was cool. I mean, I didn't set purpose in that, but it was it was a challenge. It was cool. Right. That right there, I live in New York, and rats, I, I don't feel like even need to be here. It's like, you know, they have no purpose on the earth. I mean, any of us can win. Any of us can win. And right. I'm, I, I, right. I have to give all of them credit and respect for doing it. I really right. do. Are you in or out? Are you going to quit? Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to see that. Thank you. I talk a lot of crap, but I'm the first one to admit when I can and cannot do something. The minute Joe pulled the towel back and revealed the rats, I knew then that I couldn't do it. I really thought Carlisle was gonna be one of the final contestants. Nick is so scared, but he's so strong that I know he's gonna do it. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. There's no doubt about that. So what do you think? I don't know, man. You don't know? I don't know. $50,000, Nick. 50 grand. Oh, yeah, let's do it. OK, bring in the rats. Oh, buckle up, Junior. I'm not excited. <laughs> oh! Do not panic, man. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're right here. We're in top team. You can do it, Dave. Gabby did it. Beard did it. Winston did it. It's okay, man. We're right here. Just think of some more people. You relax, Nick. Ah! It's a relax, Nick. Yeah, just relax. Calm down. Okay, you're one fourth of the way there. You relax, Nick. Calm down. Let it happen. Relax, Nick. You scream too loud, Carlisle's gonna hear you. Oh, don't, squ don't squish, bro. Come on. You're okay, you're okay. Just calm. calm. Be calm. Right. Nick, just be calm. We're right here. Ah! Oh, calm down, man. Calm down. Don't panic. Ow! Oh, Three, two, one. Get him out of there. You did it, Nick. You had some screams of horror in there. <laughs> He Dude, scared me. I'm Dude, like, what are they doing? They're eating his brain. <laughs> Did you ever think about quitting? There was a couple times, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, when when I got a rat, you know, up my crotch, you know. Congratulations, Thanks, I know it was tough, but you did it, and you're yeah. in the final round. And then there was four. You guys all made it through. Now, Carlisle he totally bagged out. Did you guys think he was going to do that? Oh, we're I so was so shocked. surprised. I, I yeah. really thought Carlisle would be yeah, no, like a fierce When he was head. saying he was going to bag it, did you believe him? No, no, I thought he was just trying to scare us. All right, guys. Well, congratulations. You guys made it through in the finals. There's four of you. Let's get out of this creepy place. Yes. 
I've been through so much already, but I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't nervous. This whole experience has freaked me out. My only competition I feel right now is Winston. I'm taking this bad boy. After the rat pit, I'm like, oh, I can do anything. My main obstacle right now, I believe, is Deirdre. Everybody will say, well, you know, it's a girl, it's a girl. This has nothing to do with sex. Winston is definitely the biggest competition today on the third day. He just seems like he doesn't care if his right arm's cut off, he's gonna win. Well, here we are, our final stunt. You've gone through two disgusting, creepy days, being dragged through mud, lying in a pit cover with rats, having them bite on you and chewing you, and here we are on our final day, and one of you today is gonna walk away $50,000 richer. You ready to see what your final stunt is? Okay, let's bring it out. We like to call this stunt the vertical hanging car, and this is how it works. You're gonna be strapped to the front seat of that car. It's gonna be lifted over 150 feet in the air over the water. When I say go, you're gonna unbuckle yourself, you're gonna climb out onto the hood, all the way to the front, there's a ribbon. You're gonna pull that ribbon off. You're gonna climb back over the hood, all the way out to the trunk. Where the trunk key latch is, there's keys dangling from there. You're gonna pull those out. You're gonna climb back over the car. You're gonna climb in through the driver's side window. You put the keys in the ignition, turn it, hit the horn. As if that doesn't suck enough, we're gonna make it rain on you. The whole time you're doing it, we have a hose spraying water on you, so it's gonna be slippery. You must be very careful and watch your footing. The person with the fastest time is gonna walk away with $50,000. We have randomly pre-selected who's gonna go first. Deidre, you are our lucky contestant number one. You ready to do this? Yes. Okay, come on, let's go. Come with me. I don't know about this. This is, this is hard. Yeah, this is real hard. What's going through your head right now? Tell me. Complete the task. Complete the task. Just focus, don't panic. Yeah, remember when I say go, that's when you climb out. Good luck. <laughs> you doing it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right, well, all right, so yeah. we're all in yeah, agreement. I'm gonna that, do it. I was all... laying in a rat <laughs> pit. What do you think? <laughs> Ooh, that car's moving a lot. You ready to do this? Go! How far is the road if I fall? Don't fall. It's okay. There you go. Oh my God. There's just no way. I'm not kidding. There's no way. I gotta get down. You can do it, Deandra! Quitting. Please take me down. She quit. That's it. Bring I her quit. In. It's too hard. It's physically, I'm not strong enough to hold myself. But you're not necessarily out yet because the point where you quit is the point where we're going to mark the distance. And if nobody beats that distance, you can conceivably still win this. The next, Gabby. Any last words? Like, help! Yeah. <laughs> what did this come from? I know, it's so different. I know. Nick. Mm hmm. See, when I tell you first night, I didn't lie to any of you. I told you I'm here for the money. Bottom line, I like you all, okay. I have friends. Let's see. You know? You're, you're a consistent. I'm, pro I, I'm not trying, I to, like I'm not trying to BS you. We all know, this. we all are like, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, pat each other on the back. This is not the Boy Scouts. This is not let's all get through the rat pit together and hold each other's hands. Let's all get across the big obstacle and have a great time. One person's walking out. Yeah. You can do it, right? You're ready to rock. I'm ready. Say you're ready to rock. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> <laughs> if she gets past your distance, that means you're gone. You understand that, right? Yep. Don't look. Do not look down. I'm OK. There's the water. OK, Gabby, you ready to do this? All right. It's that angle. I don't know how anyone could do it. There she goes. She's in an awkward position. Yes, yeah. she is. She might have a good idea, though. This. 
I'm gonna fall. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Hang on. I can't do it. There's nothing to hold on to. I can't do it. I'm about to fall. Pull yourself up. There you go. I'm about to fall. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm about to fall. My hands are really slippery. The car's turning. I'm going back yet. I'm going back in, in the car. Are you quitting? I'm quitting. I'm, I'm quitting. Oh. I'm quitting right now. That's it. Lower it down. You're still in it. Gabby didn't get as far as you did. Oh, thank God. I'm sad, I'm a little disappointed in myself, but, you know, I tried. You gave it your best shot here, and thanks for playing our game. Thank you. Good job. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. That was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. It was crazy up there. I mean, I wanted to win, but I'm really glad to have my feet back on the ground. A lot of pressure. Friends are watching. Family's watching. No pressure. You can't psych me out, dude. They said there's only two ways, you know, I can lose if I fall or you beat me. I fell, man. Nervous. Nervous? Nervous. Well, yeah. Pumped up? Yeah, I'm pumped up, but I hate heights. I'm, I'm scared out of my tree. Really? Yeah, I hate heights. Is I that your em. biggest fear? Yeah, I wouldn't want to say anything to these guys, but I'm scared out of my mind. All right, now, Deirdre, you realize we passed you. You're gone. I know. All right, Winston, you ready to do this? Go! Deirdre, you are officially eliminated. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? I know. This is very hard, though. Look at him. I catch myself. So I should have I should have took my time. I should have took my time. I definitely got it. What do you think Nick's chances are of getting past where you got? It's gonna be nerve wracking. Why don't you bump Deidre out? It's all up to you and Nick right now. Deidre, you did a great job. Thanks for playing. Thank you very much. Take care. You too. I just couldn't get a grip onto the car in a way that I thought I would safely be able to get it and I didn't want to hurt myself. I didn't want to like break a bone or anything and fall. That's just the way it goes. All right. It's just you and Nick. Dude, you think you got it, you got it. It's different, drop there. I told you, I don't like heights. Uh, I almost threw up like three times. All you have to do is get your foot in that driver's side door and you win the money. Cool. If you beat me at this point, after all the craziness I've done, and after all the nutty stuff, I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> I did what I had to do. It was, it was the bottom line. It was all you had to do. Nick, are you ready? Go! It doesn't feel good. That's for sure. Doesn't feel good. 
Mm -hmm. did everything I had to do. You watch where I put all my stuff. You watch where I put all my feet. To, you know, just take your time because the car spins, and so there was times that there was more water on one side than the other. So right there, and I slid down. I thought I was done, man. I was just like, oh man, fifty thousand dollars, man. Oh. There you go. Oh, oh shoot. yeah. Oh shoot, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Congratulations, man. You Thank are you. a big winner. You did it all, man. Oh. You got through the rats, you got through getting dragged by the horses, and you did it. You got all the way to the top, you got the key, you put it in, you beat the horn. You are a winner. Congratulations, you're $50,000 richer, and evidently fear is not a factor for you. The dating service you've been dying for is here. Chillmatch.com. Looking for a sexy homebody? Or maybe you prefer a woman who's a bit more revealing. Horror's most horrifying hookups are coming. Premieres Friday, February 8th at 8. Only on Chiller. Scary good. Chiller is not responsible for any injuries, psychological trauma, or death resulting from use of its site.